so after going to the playoffs 12 times, being an 11 time all star, seven time all NBA defensive first team, and a whole bunch of other shit, at 36 years old, Chris Paul finally has made it to the NBA championship. So, you know what? Snaps. Good job, Chris Paul. Uh, you deserve it. I mean, he's one of the most likable guys in the NBA. He's smart. You know, he's fiery. He's, he's the classic quintessential point guard. You, you, you know, think about, you know, this is why I like the Sun so much. Because, you know, think about all these teams that stretch bigs. You know, the LeBrons of the world. You know, the, I get Ben Simmons can't shoot for shit. But he's a, he's a stretch big. You know, the Joel Embiid's. Exactly. You know, those guys are starting to become a lot more common in the NBA. But the, the classic, you know, quintessential point guard, dish it out, you know, pick and roll point guard is Isaiah kind of Thomas. going. Yeah. You know, the Isaiah Thomases of the world, um, you know, that's kind of starting to go away. And, you know, they have a traditional big in DeAndre Ayton, who's a, just a fucking beast. And then they have a traditional point guard, sorry, shooting guard in Booker. You know, it's just, you know, it, it's kind of refreshing to see this because traditional might be an understanding. He's like, yeah, possibly generational. Yeah, absolutely. The, and this is a this, this whole roster is a match made in heaven. Everyone, this roster just fucking works. Well, it's actually really deep. I, uh, like people like Jay Crowder round out the roster. Uh, you have Frank Kam- <laughs> Frank Kaminsky still on that roster. Yeah. Dude, how is you it have, that well, Jay Crowder always seems to find his way into the finals? Honestly, I think I think uh, contending teams look for him because I think they're like, okay, look, like we have a lot of score, we have a lot of offense, we need someone that can come in and be tough. Yeah, he always comes in. He's whenever he comes in, whenever he plays, he's extremely tough. Like he's really great defensively. You, you know, he's probably fucking hilarious off the court. Too. Yeah, well, he's he's, he's extremely he's, aggressive on the court. He's a lunatic. He's an, I like, and don't get me wrong. Like, obviously, I hate that the Suns beat the Lakers, but that when he when he did the salsa dance, you know, making fun of LeBron. That shit was so fucking funny. I laughed so hard. I was like, you know what? Good for you. And then he got thrown out and he just runs out. Well, dude, honestly, like, I kind of want to talk about the game a little bit because like. Oh, yeah, that. <sighs> like, you're paying Paul George max money, right? You just give him another contract. Yeah. Kawhi might opt out. Mm-hmm. You know. Not only might he opt out, that might be the like, better <laughs> choice for the Clippers. Then you're stuck do. with Pat Bev, Marcus Morris, Terrence Mann, Paul George. Luke Kennard, that's about it. Well, Reggie Jackson. For next year. Reggie Jackson's a free agent after this year. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was just like a one year. What do you think is the likelihood of them re-signing him? Pretty good, but he doesn't play like this all season. Yeah, and I think think that there's going to be a lot of recency bias and people, he's going to be expecting maybe a big contract or people might give him value as that. Well, he sought that with like the Pistons. Even when he was on OKC and he was the backup after Russ got hurt, he was like, I'm a starter. I need to be a starter. And Russ is like, all right. Like, <laughs> like yeah. at the time, Russ was like a five time all star. He's like, all right, chill out, bro. And so he got traded to the Pistons. He was like, I'm a starter. Like, he got $85 million stolen. Um, <laughs> and, uh, oh, man. So, like, yeah, I think he's going to seek that money. But also, I don't think you bring him back for that money and you have no picks. They're just in a really, really bad spot at this point. Like, yeah, because they went all in. This was their time to win. This is their time to win. They might, they maybe might have one more year at you know to have, having a realistic shot at this. But dude, they literally traded away their entire future. It, it, it's a joke. They they don't have a first round draft pick to like twenty twenty six. They're they're it's gonna really go bad. The, if they don't win soon, they're just going right back to well, it could the be, old Clippers. Well, it could be done. Like this year, it, if Kawhi's very, like, "Hey, very, I'm done," that's a very realistic possibility. Extremely, like I, I heard reports, he was uh, unhappy with the Clippers' medical staff, and but I mean that checks out. But if I'm the Clippers, I wouldn't really be hanging my head right now. This is uh, the I well, I mean, as far as the Clippers go, this is a su- successful season for them. This is the best season they've ever had. You know what I mean? Winning two games in the conference finals, you know. Yeah, but, I mean, like uh, uh, kind of records for them. Yeah, um, you know, this is this is a monumental. Like, with the players they've had too, you're like, that, that's disappointing. Yeah, dude, Lob City. The fact that they didn't at least at least go to a conference finals, at least the conference finals, they didn't even do that, which is you know part of the reason why I'm so happy for Chris Paul. I think that. I you know who knows what's going to happen with the Bucks and the Hawks uh, now that Giannis is injured, which God you know sucks. I hope 
that Giannis can get healthy because he's maybe the most likable guy in the NBA. Giannis is, you know, he's, yeah. he's, a, he's a good he's a really nice guy. And, uh, well, I don't know how smart it would be. I could totally see him trying to come back if they if the Bucks do somehow go to the finals. But I don't see either of those teams beating the Suns, even at full health. I think the Suns are going to take this. This is their year. Yeah, the Suns are deeper, more experienced. And, like, maybe not in the playoffs right now, but a lot of their veterans have been to the playoffs, have been to this level. Like, Jay Crowder's been to the finals. So they're consistent. Yeah, they're consistent. They're deep. Like, Monty Williams is a really good coach. <laughs> they shoot super well. Like, they were second in field goal efficiency this whole year. They, and they got a, they got a really tough home court advantage. I don't really. I just don't see anyone be beating the Suns right now. I, I think that they got this. Uh, this could be a hot take, and who knows? The the Hawks could somehow get really good or something, but I don't really think that's going to happen. Yeah, um, but you know what? Shout out to you, the Suns. Uh, congrats. You guys uh, You guys earned it. You guys uh, beat the crap out of my Lakers, but you, know, you earned my respect back because uh, you made sure that the Clippers will remain championshipless, so I appreciate that. All right. Well, uh, give us a follow on our socials at Armchair Pods, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you know, wherever you watch your shit, we're probably there. All right. Thank you very much.